Mr. Gulf Islands. Here, I, I want to congratulate the leader of the Democratic Party and the team that made the improvements in the legislation we have before us tonight. I think it's very important. It's important to see the, that people are not going to be receiving less uh, uh, off-serve as they transit on to EI. I also, though, recognize that the leader of the Democrat Party is in a position to do considerably more. And if he speaks about climate, as he said, quote, climate crisis is still raging. Well, of course it is. It's worse by the minute. And with the power you have, well, rather, Madam Speaker, with the power that that party has, I wonder why in the election we heard that this was going to be a priority for the NDP. The NDP in British Columbia, of course, has increased greenhouse gases and bet its money on fracking and LNG. I wonder when we will see this federal NDP press the federal liberals to give us more than lip service on climate. This is the moment we're running out of time. Our member for Burnaby South. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, in fairness, the, the member is right when she talks about a, a liberal government that pays lip service to the climate crisis but then does the opposite. They talk about these lofty goals and then miss each and every one of them without any accountability. They talk about planting a billion, two billion trees and have planted zero. They talk about the importance of the climate and then buy a pipeline. Uh, what we need to do is stop the, the pretty words, the empty words, and we need some concrete action. One of the things that we're fighting for and pushing for is once we get past the immediacy of the second, second wave of the pandemic, is a recovery where we invest in people and we create jobs locally and we fight the climate crisis by reducing emissions. We must do that. Nothing, nothing less can happen. Here, here, here.